Yeah, baby, arriving to uh, Mount Vernon, which is the house of George Washington. Baby, ready? Let's go. All right, let's go. We're gonna go grab some coffee at the wharf. Right, baby? Eat some breakfast and then uh, we're gonna depart. You know, we're gonna take our time. It's a beautiful day. The engines are warming up. So it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good day. All right, so let's drive it from up there, huh? Leaving the marina after uh, pumping out and putting some uh, fuel. Baby, ready? Let's go grab some coffee. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a day. So we are entering what was the wharf here in DC. It's called the wharf. It's a waterfront. It's pretty, fairly new. Well, fairly newly renovated, I would say. Um, it's really happening. It's a lot of bars and restaurants, nice marinas. So we're gonna grab some coffee, right, baby? So the wharf has its own little water taxi that takes you around. Uh, more in bowls if you wanna come to DC and visit. I think they're pretty cheap, like 35 bucks a night. And you're in the middle of the downtown DC, right next to the monuments. So it's really definitely worth it. Coming to DC and take one of these more in bowls for a couple of days. That's the dinghy duck. It's a pretty cool place. You can see the Washington Monument from here. This is the Jack Club. Look at that trawler. Amazing. So we're nice and dark here in, uh, in the wharf. Look at this place. Nice, we're gonna grab some coffee and then uh, we'll be out on our way. Nice marina and they have a uh, overnight docking if you wanna come and spend the night with a uh, with, uh, power, you know, 50 amp and 30 amp. All right, let's grab a coffee. Best lobster rolls ever. Red Hook. They're good. Have you tried them? No. They're really good. Check it out. Two soy lattes and two lobster rolls. Look at the lumps. Wow. Put some lime on mine, baby. 
Yeah, wow, it's amazing. Good job, Red Hood Lobster Pound. So we're leaving the wharf. Uh, they usually charge 25 bucks to duck here uh, for like four or five hours. And I think it's 90 bucks if you want to do overnight over there. But you know, when you tell them, yes, you can just uh, stop by for a bite, quick bite and give them like a $10 tip, no problem. You know, five or $10 tip, no problem, they lay you. So we were like, just uh, came in, have a couple of uh, soy lattes and um, uh, the lobster roll and then left half an hour. Perfect. All right, baby, ready? Woo I live in the wharf. Let's go to the Washington's house, baby. Yo, Washington's house. Beautiful day. So this is the Washington DC water taxi. It takes you from port to port. There's about five ports here in DC. They're all like what, uh, 15 to 20, 30 minutes away from each other. So the water taxi will take you from them. It's, we, you have the National Harbor port, you have the Alexandria, Virginia port, you have the Navy Yard port, the yards, you have the Georgetown port, and then you have the Wharf port. Three places with a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, a lot of uh, a lot of fun stuff to do, you know. And uh, our marina is kind of uh, perfectly situated right in the middle. So um, you know we are like 15, 20 minutes away from every port. We love it. Never get tired. Right, so we're out of the no wake zone. We can go fast, baby. Let's go fast. So this is the port of Old Town Alexandria we're passing on our way south of the Potomac River. It's a nice, cute, historical port. It used to be a big, big um, um, commerce place back in the day, you know, 18, 1700s. It's a, it's a beautiful little town in there, historical houses, nice restaurants. And they have the ferries, the, ta the water taxi, yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, I recommend people coming here. We'll do a video on this some one of these days. That's a replica of a 1700s steamboat. We'll take you around. It's fun. That building there is a, it used to be a torpedo factory, I think in World War II, World War I also. 
but uh, now it's turning to like museums and shopping centers. Look at all the people there, they have a festival probably today. They're always having festivals and activities here. It's really great. All right, let's go, baby. Next, Washington House. Woohoo! It's about 2 p.m. It's time for my first beer of the day, baby. Presidente, a Dominican Republic beer that I love. No, only 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Promise. Here, I love my automatic pilot, you know. I don't have to drive it. I can just kind of move around. Take pictures, do videos, have a beer, and it takes me whatever I want to. Great boat. We are arriving to uh, Mount Vernon, which is the house of George Washington. It's, it has been turned into a museum, so uh, we're gonna go check it out. It's a very uh, important touristic place. It's about what, um, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes from uh, DC by boat, south to the Potomac. So, um, you know, it's a very beautiful uh, trip. We love doing it. So we're gonna show you how it is. Let's do it, baby. All right, so we made it. The house is right there. But, uh, you know, we got excited and we wanted to go straight to the house and we forgot that it's so shallow around there that we got out of the channel without noticing and we start picking up mud. We didn't hit ground, but we noticed that we start picking up mud. So immediately we turned around and we were in two feet of water under the keel. So we were like just about to touch ground. So uh, I just, you know, learn, listen, learn, don't get excited. Look at your navigator first and go the right way. So now we're going the right way, which is uh, the channel right over there. Uh, we should be good. What are you, we baby? made it, we made it to the pier, Mount Vernon. So we made it to Mount Vernon, to the pier in Mount Vernon. All right, baby, let's do it. So this is the pier. You know, you can fit a couple of big boats, three smaller boats. Pretty nice, pretty deep. It's at least six feet to 12 feet. All right, baby? There you go, good job, ceviche. Let's do it. If you guys come by boat, just remember, it's free, but you're gonna be, four, be out by four. So, uh, docking is free, you gotta pay your entrance, but you're gonna be out by four. So you get an extra, uh, less uh, one hour than everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I will have to be off the pier. All right, so this was uh, George Washington Pier. And uh, up the hill was his house. A beautiful landscape. So the first thing you'll find is uh, Washington Tom. He's actually buried here in his own land. A little Washington Monument here. Such a nice, nice tomb. Erected in uh, 1830, 31. Look at that massive tree. 
Supposedly this tree was here since uh, the time of the burial. Look at that. Wow. Probably 300 years old. See, this all used to be his farmland. And they still farm it. Have like oranges and pumpkins. Just like back in the day. So this is the walkway to the houses where uh, he used to leave the main house. And then uh, all his workers and slaves used to live. Yeah. So we'll walk through the... It's almost like a little town, yeah. Probably, I don't know, a hundred people living here, supporting the whole farm. It was a big community. So this is the stable where the animals were kept. And up to days, this is where the crops used to be stored after the harvest. And this is where the horses used to be kept. The stables, still, still smells like horses. Uh, look at the vehicles you used to use. More stable, more horses. This is a riding chair. Look at that. Put it with a horse. Take it around. This is the main gate of the property. This is the wash house. So I guess uh, this is where all the laundry used to happen. Nice. Believe it or not, there is still archaeological excavations going on around the area. Check it out. They cover with a tarp for the rain. This is the paint setter. I guess they used to store the paint there. Clerk's office, I guess. You know, they always had an accountant. <laughs> Look at that, nice office. Bigger than mine. All right, so this is the smoke house. So back in the day without refrigeration, they used to uh, smoke the fish and the meat. So they will be preserved. Put some salt on it and just smoke it for hours. And then it's like a ham, you know, you can just keep it outside without refrigeration. Well, look at the fire pit in the middle. Nice. This is a storehouse. I guess where you store the stuff, the wood, goods, supplies, kind of the, the Amazon.com of that time. <laughs> this is the center of the, of the houses, of the, of the center of the farm, his land. All the houses were around. This is the little park in the middle, supporting the whole complex. And those are the farmlands. Wow, nice. We'll see the view in a little bit, the view of the river.
Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, uh, George Washington's house. Look at that beauty. I mean, it's being kept pristine. <laughs> and look at the view. Not you, baby, the river. <laughs> look at that view. We saw the, the house from the river. It looks beautiful. Now we see from the house, the river. <laughs> it was in the video too. <laughs> the gardener's house. Wow. I guess gardeners used to be a, a good job. Look at that. Nice house. The salt house. So back in the day, salt used to be so important because they didn't have refrigeration. So salt was very expensive. To conserve the food. And yeah, they didn't have refrigeration. So to conserve the food. Look at that. Barrels of salt. Nice. So this is the spinning house. That's where uh, the clothing used to be made for everyone. From the sheep and from the cotton. Look, they have demonstrations of how they used to be, they used to do it. Look at that. I guess this is the, one of the main entrances since uh, we really came from the water, so we came from the back. And then this is the overseas quarter, so I guess we're the, I don't know, the management of the whole property used to live. So this is the blacksmith uh, shop. Here you do all the metal work, like the horseshoes and nails. Farm equipment, huh? Right, wow. Look at the garden. Look at the beautiful garden. I guess George Washington used to have uh, to welcome his guests. They used to come to a garden like this, full of uh, tropical plants and exotic palms, palm trees, fruits, plants. That's his greenhouse. Look at that. So this tree is from uh, 1785, can you believe it? So Washington seen this tree before, amazing. I can see ceviche from here, baby. Washington's wharf. His pier where uh, he used to have a crew where he used to handle the boats, the fishing, the oystering, crabbing, and all the the products you can get from the 
from the river. Super nice. Look at that. Ceviche. Beautiful property, Mr. Washington. You're a lucky guy. Also, the uh, history, how they used to fish in here back in the day. Here in this pier, there used to be a pier. George Washington's pier. You can come by by ferry, if you can see, from Washington DC. I really recommend it. Or you can buy your own boat and come on your own boat, like I do. Like me. So this is the Chesapeake Bay. Okay. All the way up the Chesapeake Bay, you have, wow. just to get an idea, Baltimore, St. Napolis. You come down, this is Solomon's Island. Come down up the Potomac River. It's Colonial Beach area. And even farther, you get to Mount Vernon, which is Washington's house. And Washington DC is right here. So by water, it's about 45 minutes, half an hour from Washington's house. Yep. So living in Mount Vernon, General Washington House, really great trip, but remember it's super hot. Thank you. It was great. Oh, it trip. was great. Great yes. adventure. I recommend if you are living in the Chesapeake Bay area, it's worth coming all the way here. You can actually, if the weather is nice, you can actually anchor around here. It's uh, it's nice and calm. You spend the night. Yay. So uh, it's worth coming by boat. See you next time. Let's see if we can. S oh no. Baby, how was uh, Washington's house? It was big, it was interesting. And then history, and some people were demonstrating how actually they live back in the time. Yeah, so it was nice that they uh, they have every room, everywhere you go, they had, there is someone explaining the history, how they used to live back in the day, you know. I mean, I don't know if you can see the house from here. I can, but in the GoPro, it's hard to show. Beautiful house, beautiful view. And uh, there is some people actually dressed like back in the time and showing you and uh, actually playing a character, right? They're playing a character. They actually act like it was back in the time. When, when you ask them a question, they kind of answer you like it was back in the time. So that was, that was nice. Um, we captured, you know, a lot of video. Well, we actually wanted to capture more, but we ran out of battery, so. Thank you for watching. We hope these videos help promote the Chesapeake Bay. If you're new to our channel, check out our introduction video. Also, help us promote the Chesapeake Bay by giving this video a like and subscribe. You can also help the make of these videos through Patreon. Check it out.